Hello. Hi, sweetheart. How's the baby? How's daddy's baby? You sleepy? You look sleepy. Hey Toby. Hi Toby. How's my boy? Hi Ellie. How you doing, sweetheart? Who you barking at? Who you barking at, baby? Somebody out there? You saw somebody out there? Who's out there, sweetheart? <clears throat> Ellie's always on guard. Right, sweetheart? Ray sweetheart. Ray sweetheart. Bella. How's it, Bella? <clears throat> Bella don't want to be bothered right now. Right, Bella? You don't want to be bothered right now? Okay. I won't bother you.
pretty liberal with the epoxy. It's a very strong epoxy, and it will not get it. It'll give you a nice structural repair right where, right where we need it. Then get yourself a spreader and just work it into every little area. Make sure to go beyond the repair. That's why we found out the three inches beyond. Now there we go. It might not look the prettiest, but it is very strong. Let this sit for a good hour and a half. Let it cure on its own. Do not worry about the front of it. So it's got for about an hour and a half, and it's hard to rock. It's good to go. Now it's starting on the front side. Now it's back to full rock solid. You can really, really go aggressive on the front side. Hi, Ellie. Hi, sweetheart. Any of the high spots with the heat gun. This is very important. The shaping never stops. Now we want to make sure the plastic behind the bumper that we added is melted in with the front. So we can use a flathead and some heat, and we're going to kind of blend them all together before we put our epoxy on. Well, once more, 80 Hi, Toby. Sure that the uh, little divots are filled and it's going to 